How do you fancy a signal meter like this? Watch the rest of the video. M0 FXB, welcome back to my videos on the TID Radio H8. Big thanks to Marcus on TID Radio Hacking Facebook page, which I will put a link in the description. So we're going to get the signal meter working on our H8. The bin file is on this Facebook group and I will add it to the link. You're going to need the firmware upload program. Go to this link here. It does make you log in and then just download the software. You'll end up with this file. Just click the down arrow here. And you'll, you'll see all your files and click the one here. Double click this and I would extract it to a folder so you can find it. You just click extract and to create a folder just right click anywhere where there's a gap, right click, go to new and then folder. Let's do that again, Let's delete that one, delete. So right click, new, then folder and then give it a name. So you've got yourself a folder ready. TID88 for now. Then you would just select it, extract it to that folder. You're going to find on your desktop, look for that name, TID, and then click OK. And you've extracted all the contents of this file into that folder. Within that folder, you've got the firmware loader and the soft programming software. So if you want, you can click software, run that, and you'll end up with this program here. And it's a good way to test that your radio is communicating with your, with your PC and testing the cable. So it's just a Bofeng UV5R cable. They're only about five pound. Make sure you push it in firmly, just where my finger is here, just push it in firmly. You don't have to put the radio into firmware mode, you just push it in firmly, connect to your PC, right click on your Windows here, then go Device Manager, double click COM and you'll see there prolific USB to serial, mine is COM11 just here. So make a note of that number. Now with the software, just to check, just go to COM here, COM11, click OK, and then see if it will read. And you can see mine's reading fine. Now the radio doesn't really do anything until the end. You just got that little blink, and then it's, you know it's reading and writing. So that's great. Now, I would close that program now. We don't want it to say that the COM port's in use, so we're just going to X that one out. Now we're going to open the firmware program that looks like this. Double click your folder. Double click where it says TRD H8 ham and then again firmware upgrade. Now there are full instructions. There's the original bin file there as well, so you don't worry about that. You've got that. And if this goes wrong, don't worry, just redo it. Otherwise, underneath you've got the firmware loading program. Double click that. You'll get the red warning and then just click more info and run anyway. You get the shield appear at the bottom. And then just run this next, 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 and you'll have that software. And it will be called H8IAP. And we've got the shortcut down here. If I click it, this is the, the software we're going to be using to load our firmware. So click open file here. And then I've downloaded the file to my downloads. This is the file we got from the Facebook group version 3.1 it says the s pro meter has been updated slightly such that unused bars have a dim color this helps to fill the void at the top somewhat uh, the frequency adjust menu now has a 30 megahertz option to drop onto the air band from vhf that's interesting this is practically useless however as you don't have an am mode but with a strong signal you can hear it detune from the primary 
So uh, yeah, read the rest, but it's it's there. I'll put the I'll put this text in the description, and there's your bin file. So we've got that selected now. It's the com. So we've got com, and it, we know it's eleven. Com just where the blue cog is. Eleven. Click OK. Now the instructions say, turn off your radio while the cable is connected. Click Start, and then turn on your radio, and the firmware should load. So let's turn off the radio, like so. Then we're going to click Start, and then turn on. Now it does say, put the volume loud. Looks like it is going in. And also push the cable in firmly. And if it fails, like mine just did, just try again. There you go, we're trying again. Same, it did exactly the same thing. And when it comes on, we should have our signal meter and we'll look at the settings. There you are, it's back on now. And we're still able to read and write from the programming software. There you go, after the update. So we now have a signal meter. There's more modifications to come. Let me come away from that frequency. Just quickly key. And in future updates, you'll be able to choose different style signal meters. Thanks for watching so far. Bye for now.